What's up guys, Marshall one here and welcome back. First of all, thanks a lot for huge support on my Saima VSS Winter Race Gun review and in name of that, today I'm doing another one. In front of me, I have my Saima CM060 P90 replica that comes in this small package. Same as previously in box, you get everything you need to start airsofting and that's the best part of Saima. For little money, you get full package and no need to spend some extra money to buy yourself battery and a charger since I've got it in my local store they gave me one year warranty so in a box you get even a spill loader which is awesome and handy this big beautiful mag that has dummy rounds inside of it in my opinion it really gives a cool look to your replica and those are low caps I will give you more information later in video NI MH1100 nickel battery which is 9.6 volts a charger for this type of battery which will charge even other nickel batteries which is really awesome under the replica there is even a cleaning rod now I have two in my collection you're gonna need this if your BB is stuck inside the barrel and the last but not least the replica itself at first it really looks amazing and feels different from other replicas because of its design and look. I've added these strips so I can attach my sling. It really has some weight for polymer replica even if it's really smaller one by dimensions. Fit perfect in both hands and you're not gonna have problems holding it left or right. Charging handle is there just for look, doesn't have any function but for this price of money it's really amazing to have it there, you can play around with that if you like it. It weighs a little over 2 kilograms and length is 500 millimeters. Whole body is made out of quality polymer and it feels very solid. No wobbling around and back panel is removable, there you are gonna find your battery space. Charging handle is made of metal, top rails, side rails and this whole part is made out of metal. Flash hider itself is made also of metal and gearbox is metal. It's a version 6 gearbox with 6mm bearings. Length of internal barrel is 260mm while diameter of internal barrel is 6.03mm. Mine has 400 FPS and 1.5 joules while you can choose to lower it down to make your fill requirements or standards. And approximate range is 60 meters. Before I did mention mags, I believe you're gonna enjoy in reloading same as I do. Standard mags are made out of polymer with these dummy rounds which really looks cool. Mag capacity is only 70 BBs so those are the low caps and you're gonna empty them really fast if you decide to go full auto. Replica comes with one low cap mag and if I'm not wrong you may find high caps from King Arms for this replica. I think there is no mid caps for P90, sorry if I'm wrong. The biggest plus in my opinion on Saima CM060 is fire selector which is right under your trigger and you can really fast switch from single fire to full auto mode with only one finger without need to move your whole hand from replica. This is the something that makes this replica unique and very effective in CQB. In my opinion the whole design is made to fit for everyone. Hop up is a little bit different, mostly on every other replica it's under the cover and charging handle while on P90 in order to access and adjust your hop up you will need to look under your replica, remove this cover and there you're gonna find this little wheel, by rotating it you're gonna adjust hop up, very simple and same on M4 replicas. By removing the back panel you will be able to easily install your battery. It comes with small Tamiya connector and 9.6 volts. You will have no problems replacing this one with 7.4 volt LiPo battery. Just make sure to pick up the right size since there is not so much space for installing big batteries. On the top you have Picatinny rail and you can install any sides of your choice or whatever you want. From side you can attach laser, flashlights or even you can mount adapter so you can attach your sling. So replica itself looks really amazing, unique and it gives you mighty feeling but you can easily transform it from this into this 
And what you see now is probably what I say, the best looking replica ever made. I've added wrist adapter for P90, vertical grip, laser, reflex sight and dummy silencer. Now it has a little bit more weight and it's heavier but more effective and easier to handle of course. Like this ergonomics are way higher and it will attract more attention on the field. I'm using my P90 exactly like this. They recommend you to go with 0.25 gram BBs and I've been using it like that for a year so far and never had problems with my replica. Also I've been on stock battery and it's still doing good job on the field. 9.6 is a little bit faster than 7.4 LiPo and won't damage your internals. That's the main reason why I'm using it. But as I said before, I'm using it mostly on single fire. Now I'm gonna show you a little sound test that I recorded at my home. So my overall thoughts on Saima CM060 P90 replica, for its price you get everything you need to start using your replica right out of the box, it's a great quality, very well built, great finishing design, no wobbling, awesome attention to details and it's giving you a huge option to upgrade your replica and make it look really good. Of course you can upgrade internals to the maximum and all these things together are giving this replica positive feedbacks. I definitely recommend it for everyone who doesn't have a lot of money but still want to have fun on the field and be equal with others just make sure to buy yourself some extra mags because it comes with only one low cap mag all in all you're gonna love it and have great time using it so that was it for today's video don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more awesome vlogs gameplays reviews and everything else Hopefully you enjoy watching. Tell me down in comments your thoughts on this replica and I'm gonna see you next time. Happy New Year, wish you all the best and stay safe. Bye bye guys.